demonstrate how to simulate VHDL code for half adder using model sim and EDA playground. Let us first simulate half adder using model sim. First we will create a project. So go to file new project give a project name Select the project location. The library for the project is work. Then click OK. Now we are going to add a half adder file to the created project exp4. So click create new file. I am going to implement half adder so I will name the file as half add file type is VSTL click OK now Click on the file created that is half add half add .vst. right click and edit. So in this default window we are writing the code for half adder implementation in VSTL hardware description language. Entity is the keyword followed by the name of the entity half add is now we will declare the port so port if I see the basic gate implementation of half adder I find that A and B are the input and sum and carry are the input. A and B are the input port and data type is bit. Since A and B can take either 0 or 1 as the input. Sum and carry are the output port and data type is bit. End half adder. After writing the declaration of the port, now we will write the architecture for half adder. Equation architecture is the keyword and equation is the user defined name for the architecture. We are writing the architecture for entity half adder. Begin indicate the beginning of the architecture. And now let us write the equation implementation 
of half adder sum is equal to a bar and b or a and b bar carry is equal to a and b sum is equal to less than or equal to is the assignment operator in vstl not of a and b or a and not of b carry is equal to a and b end architecture equation now save the file by clicking the save button keep the cursor on the file name right click compile the program by selecting compile selected in the transcript window it shows that compilation of half add.vst was successful now we'll simulate the half adder using the waveform for simulation go to library inside the library go to the work library inside the work library click on half add right click simulate when i click on simulate layout will change to simulate layout now keep the cursor on the half add file right click go to add wave now wave forms are added in the wave window now we'll verify the truth table in the truth table i can see that a and b are set to 0 initially now input a to be set 0 keep the cursor on half add input a right click force the value to 0 and set the value of b input to 0 now we'll set the run length of the waveform to 200 nanosecond and we will run the input a is equal to 0 and b is equal to 0 now when a is 0 b is 0 sum is 0 carry is 0 truth table entry for a is 0 and b is 0 sum is 0 and carry is 0 hence we have simulated the half adder waveform for input a0 and b0 second input for half adder is a0 and b is 1 now a is set to 
and input B value is set to 1. Now for the input A0 and B1, we will run the waveform. So now the waveform is generated. I can see that A0, B is 1, sum is 1, carry is 0. Truth table also shows that when A equal to 0 and B equal to 1, sum is 1 and carry is 0. Third truth table entry for half adder is A is 1 and B is 0. Now, input A is set to 1. And input B is set to 0. And after running the input A is 1 and B is 0, the waveform generated is sum is 1, carry is 0. Truth table also shows that sum is 1 and carry is 0 for the input A equal to 1 and B equal to 0. Now, last input for half adder is A equal to 1 and B equal to 1. Now, input A is set to 1 and input B is also set to 1. After running the waveform, I can see that for input A equal to 1 and B equal to 1, sum is 0 and carry is 1. Truth table also indicate that sum is equal to 0 and carry equal to 1 for the input A equal to 1 and B equal to 1. Hence, we have so for the input A0, B0, sum is 0, carry is 0. For the input A0 and B is 1, sum is 1, carry is 0. For the input A is 1 and B is 0, sum is 1 and carry is 0. And for the input A1 and B1, sum is 0 and carry is 1. Hence, we have verified the simulation of half adder. Now, let us see how to run VSTL code for half adder in EDA Playground website. So type EDA Playground in Google. So open the website EDA Playground. If you are using EDA Playground for the first time, then you have to create an account and log into your account. Now after signing into your account, the EDA Playground window looks like this so this is the window where you can set the language for the design so you can write the code in Verilog or VSTL since we are writing the code for half adder in VSTL select VSTL then we'll select the simulation tool so in the tool and simulation tab, select Aldec Rivera Pro 2020.04. Now you can see two windows. One is testbench.vst window and the other window is design.vst window. In the design.vst window, we are going to write the VSTL code for half adder. In the case of ADA playground, for generating the test bench waveform, we have to write the test bench code in VSTL in the test bench.vstl VST window. I am not using any IEEE library function. 
Hence, these statements are not required. I have already explained how to write the half adder code in VHDL using model sim. Hence, I will directly copy the code. So, this is the code for the test bench waveform. Now, I will explain the test bench waveform code. So, we have to create an entity called test bench. And inside the test bench entity, we don't have any port. So, it is an empty entity. Now, we have to write the architecture for the test bench. Architecture TB of test bench is inside the architecture, we have to create the components for the half adder instances which we have created in the design part. So, component half add is write the port which are already written in the half adder VHDL code, then close the component using end component. Then we have to declare the intermediate signals. A and B are the input signal and they are initialized to 0 initially. Signal sum and carry are the output signal. So, we need not initialize the sum and carry signal. Now, let us write the implementation of the test bench architecture. So, begin keyword. We have to connect the component created in the test bench to the entity half adder which is created in the VSTL code part. So, DUT is a function. We have to map using port map function. So, A instances of the component should be mapped to the entity half adder component A and all the ports that is A, B, sum and carry are mapped. Then you have to initialize the value according to the truth table. So, we will create a new process, process begin. So, in the truth table, we have seen that initially A and B are set to 0. So, set A equal to 0, B is equal to 0. After setting for the generation of waveform, we have to wait for 1 nanosecond. So, write the function for wait, wait for 1 nanosecond. Then we have to see the truth table. In the truth table, A and B are set to 0 and 1. Hence, we initialize A and B to 0 and 1. Then we have to write the wait statement. Next entry in the truth table is A is 1, B is 0. So, we have written the code that is we have initialized A and B to 1. Then you have to write the wait statement. Then next entry in the truth table, A and B is set to 1. So, we have initialized A and B to 1 and we have to write the wait statement. For the generation of waveform, you have to wait. So, one more wait statement. Then you have to end the process. You have written two process. So, the one is end process and you have to close the end test bench architecture that is end TB. So, this is the code for test bench. Now, we will run the code. So, here we have chosen test bench plus design as VST. Here, you need not select any library. The top entity should be the name of the test bench. So, the name of the file is test bench as well as the naming should be same as the entity. So, entity name is also test bench for testbench.vhd so name top entity as testbench now we have to select the tool for the simulation we are running vhdl code for running vhdl code the tool to be selected is aldec rivera pro 2020.04 then you have to tick the open ep wave after run that will generate a waveform after you run the code. Now, we have to save the program. Then, you have to click on the run button. So, when you click on the run button, the 
there is a file called log in the log file log file is similar to your transcript file you can see the error messages if you have any error in the code or if the code is compiled successfully or simulated successfully you can see the message in the log and ep wave is generated which is similar to your test bench waveform in the model sim simulator see here a b carry and sum since there are two instances in the test bench waveform you can find a and all the signal twice so you can ignore the one instance so we have set a is 0 b is 0 carry is 0 sum is 0 similarly when a is 0 b is 1 carry is 0 sum is 1 similarly when a is 1 b is 0 carry is 0 sum is 1 similarly when a is 1 and b is 1 carry is 1 as well as sum is 0 so you have verified the truth table using the waveform in eda playground website or platform so if you make an error any error in the program that is if you miss any semicolon you can see the error in the log file i'll show the error message see there is an error message in the log file so see here compilation failure with three error so go to the error message error semicolon expected in the line 6 in the file design.vhd so go to line number 6 see the previous line semicolon is missing add the semicolon save the program and rerun it so the waveform is generated here you can change the order of the waveform if you i want to delete any port you can delete or you can add any port so i want to appear some first later the carry so you can change so select the port and click on down arrow so it will move so you can execute all the lab programs using EDA Playground website. Thank you.